on your side of the road, Van. Well, I'm heading back out. Oh, they got a dumpster there where they clean that house out. Heading back to Social Security. I already did one video about the discovering what my wife's life is worth according to Social Security. $255. So now I'm going back to submit the paperwork like my bank information, they wanted a copy of my marriage license, which I thought I had, but I didn't. So, going back to give that to them, and that way they can deposit the, <laughs> the $255 amount to my account. So, yeah, I'm still pretty, pretty livid about that. This, apparently, yeah, I, I talked with some of you guys uh, in the comments on the previous video that uh, this was established, I guess, back in 1935, and that amount was established back then and has not increased in 82 years. And that's just, kind of, I find that kind of bizarre, you know. Maybe the government's doing that on purpose because as the baby boomers get older, you know, and they pass on, you know, if, they're, if they increase that amount from 255 to like $1,000 or something, well, you know, there's a lot of money going out the door, but I don't know, I just, I never knew that's what the amount was until now, and to me, like I said, I still think it's a slap in the face, you know, that's all anybody's worth when you pass away, $255, you're not worth any more than that, according to the government, and I just find that rather sad, <clears throat> I don't know what, you know, other governments around the world what they offer for a death benefit, if they even offer it. But uh, I just think it's you know, pretty, pretty pathetic. Wow, well, redneck with bebop music playing. Oh, good, and he's a freaking smokestack too. Yeah, welcome back to the states. Unreal. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm still just kind of livid about this that uh, that's all that's all we're worth 255 and as the husband you know I'm entitled to that as um, you know lump sum death benefit they call that a lump sum 255 so I don't know um, uh, you know not going to ramble on too much about it. I'm already here at the Social Security Administration. I guess I'm just going to turn everything in and um, head back home and we'll just wait for the deposit, I guess. I don't know. Man, there's like no parking. Wow. People parking in the grass. Holy crap, dude. Oh, there's a spot there. What am I... Yeah. No parking anytime, but dude parks in the grass. Isn't that special? <laughs> Had to get a quick shot of that. That's just funny to me. All right, I'm gonna go in and get this over with. All right, well, that went smooth. Everything's filed, and I guess once I reach the age of 60 in another 13 years, I can actually qualify for uh, survivor benefits. So, I guess that's something to look forward to as I get older, that I could actually apply for her survivor benefits and what this guy's doing. Um, I can continue to let mine grow till I reach retirement age, and um, then I can get uh, um, retirement on top of that, so. <clears throat> It's not going to be a, a lot, like, you know, maybe about $600 or something if I did it at 60 So, yeah, if I waited till 65 then I think it increases to like 800 or seven or 800 something like that. So, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> it's just one of those weird things. They still only give you 255 you know, for a death benefit. But, once you reach, you know, 60, which I guess, you know, is the early retirement 
then I could qualify for her, you know, for her survivor benefits being the spouse. So, something to look forward to, I guess. But, yeah, this is all new to me. I'm still learning as I go. But, yeah, the government. I guess as I keep putting money in, that's what they said, you know, my benefits will increase as time goes on. And the fact that uh, she um, was putting in, you know, she never filed for disability. I mean, she did, but then it turned into this, you know, then you know, she passed away. So that basically the death benefit would override any disability. So, you know, I would, I guess, you know, her benefits basically increase over time as well. So that amount that they're estimating now could increase in another 13 or more years. So, yeah, I'm learning as I go. But still, just one of those one of those things you don't want to have to deal with at this age, you know, middle age. I mean, like I said before, it's, you know, we plan on growing old together. I mean, that's what, you know, that's how I was raised, you know, marriage and all that. And then something tragic happens, you know, like cancer and suddenly, you know, everything changes. And I mean, at least the government for the most part is you know, at least you get something. I guess that's the way to look at it. They're not so much compassionate. They are, you know, they they do offer some benefits, but it's not a lot. I mean, it's just barely enough to get by on, basically. So, anyway, there you go. To and from the Social Security Administration, finalizing my uh, lump sum death benefit for my wife. So, I guess until the next thrilling video... Adios.